Hi everyone. Hey. JP. And Julie. From uh, Book of Hours. Uh, we're standing in front of the, uh, the McKinley uh, uh, Memorial uh, up here. And uh, this is the uh, panhandle of Golden Gate Park in the middle of San Francisco. It's freezing out. Yeah, it's kind of cold. It's uh, really cold. It's damp and it's uh, in the low 50s. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, plus we're in the middle of a park. So there's a lot of grass and a lot of moisture right. dampness. Right. <laughs> so today we're going to talk a little bit about our, your friend and mine, um, Senator Bernie Sanders. And uh, we're titling this one, Bird Doggin' It. Bird Doggin' It. Yeah. So there's been a lot of talk from... Uh, Why don't you explain what the term bird dog is? Bird Doggin'? Bird, 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 what, bird, bird dog? dog? What's a bird dog? A bird dog. Well, you know, there's that song, Bird Dog. <laughs> um, you know, a dog that, that basically goes after the, uh, the, the, the ducks that have been shut, shot down. Right. Is a, and or or pheasants, you know, um, which you know neither uh, neither of us uh, really um, partake in. <laughs> yeah, we, we do, don't kill animals. Yeah, and we don't do a lot of shooting. We don't even here. eat animals. <laughs> yeah, we don't eat them either. <laughs> uh, so bird dog is just basically uh, somebody who uh, fetches. Okay. Right. And uh, so fetch Bernie, fetch. Yeah, and you know he so so Bernie's been you know by some of the folks that we uh, that we follow have been uh, calling him a sh uh, sheepdog too, you know? Right. So and, there's uh, a new term going around, which I wish that I had coined the term, but I didn't. Paul Street, who uh, is a journalist in Iowa, actually coined the term burn dog. Who knows, maybe he didn't, but that's where I first read it um, <laughs> in one of his articles. Yeah. So um, he's out of Iowa. I, I highly suggest following him. Him, his name is Paul Street. Yeah. Um, and he's he's really great. Yeah, he so. is good. He wrote a book on uh, Obama and uh, the the Obama administration, and um, yeah. yeah, definitely worth checking out. Uh, so you know, bird dog. I guess we're we're combining bird dog and sheep dog in the name of Bernie Sanders, bird dog. Right. So we're feeling the bird dog right now. <laughs> Uh, well, sort yeah. of. <laughs> so some history, some history with me is I ran to be a Bernie Sanders delegate. Um, in you know for the or a campaign to be a Bernie Sanders delegate back in 2016, which seems like such Ages a long ago. time ago. Like, and like boy, have I come full ago. circle. Yeah. You know, my history is. Uh, yeah. I was the. I, I grew up Republican, and in the 90s, uh, became a Democrat. You know, I was on the Clinton uh, Clinton bandwagon. Uh, but in the 90s, I started to see that Bill Clinton was doing some things that I didn't agree with, like the Telecommunications Act, the crime bill, uh, he basically gutted welfare, uh, I mean, he was on his way to gut Social Security as well. Um, so but that's his, his history. <laughs> his approval rating went way down, which caused my affiliation with the Democratic Party to waver, and so I kind of backed off. And for about 20 years or so, 20, 25 years, I was a no party uh, preference, which meant that I didn't associate with any party, not the Democratic Party, not the Republican, or not the Green Party. Well, I became a Republican just so that I could campaign to be a delegate. A Republican? I'm sorry. I became a Democrat <laughs> just so that I could campaign to be a delegate, a delegate for Bernie Sanders uh, back in the primaries. And then I... And then because I became engaged to JP, who is a le practically a lifelong green, I became a green, you know, just to keep the peace in the household. <laughs> you can be an independent if but, you like. Yeah, so I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm thinking about maybe just being no party preference again, or maybe maintaining uh, my green party membership. So anyway, that's my history. Um, and so one of the things I've noticed about Bernie Sanders since... I campaigned to be a delegate is that he's he's definitely like compared to you know an international progressive Bernie Sanders is a is a downright centrist yeah especially before not, and now now yeah. he's an American centrist he's an American centrist which make which basically makes him you know a total right wing you know thank God he's not a nationalist but you know, which is he's, he's definitely, which is another term for like a Nazi. He's he's, but, fall, he's falling into the the corporatist Democratic totally. party party line. And the two most obvious uh, examples of that are, um, you know, and I'm sure there are plenty of of examples, but these are the two most obvious ones. Okay, so go for it. The first one, and I'm sorry, I'm doing all the talking. No, 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 I'm well. holding the phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
the uh, the two most obvious reasons that he is a complete centrist, or you know maybe even a right wing centrist, is that he uh, voted for James Mad Dog Mattis, who is on record as basically saying that he advocates murder. Um, and I'm sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't vote for people who who will murder with impunity. Yeah. Um, an example of that happened, you know, when the drone strikes that uh, Donald Trump uh, approved recently in Yemen killed uh, civilians. Uh, and one of them, you know, I, one or two of them were American civilians. And, mm -hmm. and um, it, it just, you don't just go and murder Americans. You, there's well, you two processes. You just don't go murdering innocent right. civilians either. If you think that Americans are tied to, you know, terrorist uh, acts or whatever, there's something called due process. And you know they have to go through due process, even though I believe our justice system is just for show, and that it's you know that it too is completely corrupted and co-opted. Mm -hmm. um, the fact is is that you have to go through the, at least go through the the routine of it, right? At, you know, at least just for show, just to just to prove to the American people that we still do have due process in this country. Well, you know there there's twice two two times now that 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 we've. Uh, We've ignored due process and just gone and murdered, you know, mm -hmm. someone who we think might be involved with terrorism, and that's just, and they're Americans, and, and that's just not. And they're children too. And there were ch innocent children. So Mad Dog Mattis is on record as basically, you know, supporting that and just killing and murdering and with impunity. And it just, the fact that he's Secretary of Defense is is absolutely chilling to me. And one of the reasons Bernie Sanders is a centrist, if not a right wing centrist, is that he. He supported this guy. Now, you know, to give him a little credit, this guy does support a, a two-state deal with Israel and Palestine. So maybe that's why Bernie Sanders supported the guy. And he was like, all right, well, I support a two-state deal. Everybody on board is now on board with supporting a two-state deal with Israel and Palestine. So I just better get behind this guy. But you know what? Murder is murder. That's and right. you can't just, yeah. you can't keep talking and, yourself out of the, the- And if you really want to know the character of this asshole, just basically just, go look up his quotes. Yeah, just be okay? him or Google him. Yeah. Uh, and look up his quotes. You yeah. Know, just type he's in a real James piece of Mad shit. Dog Mattis yeah. quotes. Yeah. I mean, you just know? the fact that he's called Mad Dog kind of I mean, shows on, you right? something, right? And then the second reason that Bernie Sanders is, you know, more right wing than than you than you might even realize is this is this bullshit uh, publicity stunt that he's doing with Ted Cruz next Tuesday on CNN. Right. The town hall to advocate for the Affordable Care Act. Right. You which, know, which and is, you know, basically he's going against what he campaigned on in the first place. Exactly. And it's, you know, it's, as, as a lot of you know, it's, it's a piece of shit legislation that was, uh, you know, taken from uh, the Heritage Foundation and uh, you know, relabeled, repackaged, <laughs> and basically and, repackaged and relabeled as Obamacare. Yeah, and it's a right-wing uh, uh, health program. Healthcare plan. Right. Yeah. It's a it's a right-wing healthcare program that was presented as uh, an alternative as an alternative to you know the Clintons. Uh, uh, healthcare a talk of healthcare, which was more about universal healthcare back in the 90s. Yeah. So you know the right wing. So what hap what ha what was happening was, and I will give the Clintons this much, is that Hillary and Bill were you know really gaining some traction in the whole in the 1990s regarding universal healthcare. You know, universal healthcare has been a mandate. Uh, or at least single payer healthcare has been a mandate across the globe in every modern nation. Yeah. For for like in some cases like a hundred years, you know. The United States is so backwards when it comes to healthcare. We are we are just we it's completely corporatized and whatever. So so the Clintons realized this and in order to gain their, you know, constituents back who they were losing by the droves, uh in the 90s because of their all of their crazy policy the crime bill the and the corruption that was and going the, on the corruption all, all the, with the with the yeah the um, well people show up murdered right right you know, so, and or or you know not and murdered their but financial, at least dead their bizarre financial types so right. anyway they 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 said they decided to throw out uh single payer healthcare universal healthcare as a way to bring back their constituents and um the Republicans said, oh, no, 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 no. So they, they they met with the Heritage Foundation, which is a right-wing think tank, and came up with 
uh, an alternative to that. And that alternative is what we now know as the Afford Affordable Care Act. More or less, yeah. And now Bernie Sanders is, like JP just said, is going against what he campaigned on in the primaries, which was an extension of payer yeah. or universal health care, having what every other modern nation has. That's right. And now he's trying to advocate for the very thing that keeps big pharma and the insurance companies solving at the expense of the American people. Right. So and he's going against, like, he's going against Ted Cruz, who has the mental capacity. <laughs> Of a toddler. Right. So it's embarrassing to see Bernie Sanders. And, and the charisma of a wet sponge. And it, the charisma of a wet sponge. Right. Like covered in mold. Right. So to see Bernie Sanders have to reduce himself to, to that level on CNN is embarrassing and it's troubling. And now you can simply look, like I've been saying for years, you can look at Congress and you can say there is not one person sitting in Congress that actually is advocating for the American people. Not one person, not Bernie Sanders. No, nope. not even uh, this this new uh, Senator Gillibrand. Right, Kr Christ Kristen Gillibrand. From New York. Uh, is going to be pumped up in 2020 as the, um, as the Bernie Sanders of 2020. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she voted against every single one of Trump's picks. Which you would think, wow, that's really progressive of her. That's great. Maybe I'll just vote for her. But she's also me meeting with Hillary Clinton donors. Yeah. And so she's it, already again, signed it's going... the paperwork to get you know right. into the next election cycle. Yeah. So the she's going to be <coughs> sponsored by and covered by and funded by corporate interests while she campaigns for presidency in 2020. And she's going to hold up this idea that she voted against every single one of Trump's picks as her as her lead into getting the Democratic constituents back. Right. So if you are a critical thinker and you pay attention to actual policy and you remember that not just Donald Trump said certain things which were trying to hold him accountable to those things that he stated while he was on the campaign trail, but also Bernie Sanders. For sure. I mean, everyone's celebrating the fact that Bernie Sanders is meeting with Ted Cruz next week. I find it embarrassing. Well, and I find it a very dis... dis <laughs> yeah. And it's really disingenuous. Yeah, and very disingenuous. And some other dis, too. I mean, he's basically trying to stay relevant in the public eye by doing shit like this. I mean, what a bunch of crap that is. <coughs> I mean, really, I mean, who who, <laughs> who in their right mind wants to uh, debate Ted Cruz in the first place? Right. Uh, it's just, it's, it would it's be like, like debating a, a toddler who's Shooting drunk. fish in a barrel. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Well, I mean, look how it's he performed. Him. Look how he performed in the clown car during the Republican, yeah. uh, you know, primaries. Exactly. You know, just ridiculous. So, um, <coughs> yeah, some people like him, though, and I, I think it's for other reasons. But, um yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's another. That's uh, a whole other story. story. That's a whole other podcast right. that we'll probably end up doing. Um, <clears throat> maybe. Maybe we'll call it cruising for a bruising. Yeah. <laughs> but so anyway, you have to think about that. And also, like I mentioned a couple of uh, podcasts ago, you know, you've got to have something called civic oversight. You know, where you can no longer look. There's an article out there that says if you don't pay, if if you. Your, your best bet is to is to basically assume that everything that comes out of Donald Trump's mouth is a lie. In fact, if Donald Trump says, yo, the sky is blue, you know, I assume some, some are good people, the sky is blue. What you do is you look up at the sky and you make sure it's blue, assuming you know it's blue. Yeah, exactly. Blue, but anyway. Yeah. Uh, the point is, is that that's the, that was green. Yeah, that's the attitude you should take with every politician. Every politician, not just Donald Trump, have some civic oversight, have some critical thought, start thinking, you know, beyond what is presented to you. I mean, the very fact that CNN came forward and said, we're doing this, we're CNN, we're doing this, that should have been your first clue. That should mm -hmm. have been your first pause for thought, right. you know, and then it's also just demeaning to Bernie Sanders. Right. Come on, you know, you advocate for a single payer system, you advocate for universal health care and now <laughs> you're you're, you're pushing... going for what was originally right. a right wing the thing that you campaigned against the very thing you campaigned against right yeah 
you know, yeah. and people, and and basically what it is is Congress, politicians, everybody, they are just banking on the American people to have no memory. Well, you know, uh, something that strikes and me about having this, that disconnect. Something that strikes me about this thing coming up on CNN is, is all three parties involved mm-hmm. are basically desperate to stay relevant. Right. You know, <laughs> CNN, parts. sure, CNN, oh. <laughs> right. Bernie Sanders, and right. Ted Cruz, and so probably Bernie. State, right. Bernie has like the least to to worry about and the least and the most to lose right. by associating himself with these two entities. Right. But yeah. uh, you know, Ted Cruz. I mean, she's right. Okay. So remember, you know, I heard a statistic, <laughs> and I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna prove it. But I did hear a statistic, and it's been going around for about a year now. People who are like me and JP, where we pay, where we pay attention to policy, and we're actually progressive, and we we hold the standard and we hold the bar really high, and we keep pushing the conversation more to the left and more into the progressive. And I don't even like the terms left and right. I'm yeah. just a I'm just a human humanist. I'm just a humanitarian. You know, I think that it's a human right that everybody should have uh, free health care. I mean, they have it in Russia. Mm-hmm. Why can't we also have free health care? I mean, right. do you know, this is insane that people are dying because they can't afford insurance or they can't afford their medication. So it's a human right to have free health care. Um, so the conversation is more, you know, the, or the, the, the position I take is more of a human one, not just left or right. You know, there are, there are plenty of things that Republicans have said that I totally agree with, you know. So... Not much, though. You know, and... There are things that Democrats say that I agree with too. So basically, I just pick it policy by policy by policy, and whichever policy is best for a human being in this country, that's the one I go with. Yeah. And you don't have to be like incredibly schooled or a politician or well, you, you just, know. Just pay attention. Just I mean, be a person. Just right. be a normal person. How right. do you want to be treated? Yeah. You know? Exactly. So do you want to be lying on the street, half dead, with no one to take care of you and and no no community to to help you? Or do you want to live in a, in a society where we all take care of each other, where when we all do better, we all do better? Right. In the words of Jim, Ta- Jim Hightower's father, when we all do better, we all do better. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's where we stand. So this whole left-right conversation is kind of, it's really bugging me and it's kind of leaving well, a bad Well, you know what else is kind mind? of irritating to me right now is, is this talk of unity uh, on the left. Mm-hmm. And, and it's like, well, okay, who's, who's unity and who's left? No. Right. Yeah. Because right. Because <laughs> no. um, you know the people who are saying this tend to be the centrists and the and the corporatist Democrats. So uh, you know we're we're here we're getting back into labels, but yeah. You know the the idea that we need to unify uh, with people we don't agree with is is um, I find very uh, irritating and 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 not very productive. Right. Uh, because it takes away from. The messages that we're trying to uh, to really get out there, and that is, is you know, we do need single payer health care. We do need to be able to take care of one another. Uh, we do need to get rid of um, this this uh, situation where you know five people, eight people, <laughs> own more than half the uh, more own more wealth than half the the, the not the, the world. country, the world, the world, right? So we need to get away yeah. from that, and we need to find solutions to that. And we're not going to be doing it by saying. We need to unify right. under a corporate banner. Right. No, that doesn't work. Right? I mean, it just it it doesn't work, and they they understand that it doesn't work. Yeah, in it's a other distraction. Countries. Well, and it's a distraction you know? here, and they understand the people who are saying that understand that. Right. They understand that when they say that, it's going to take <clears throat> your lefty or your more progressive or your your uh, more, more humanist uh, message. Um, and and distract people from that back to yeah you're right we do need to be more unified so as a people so you find yourself you know lowering your bar more and more every yeah. day until you're like okay well you know what I'll back somebody who who backs a psychopathic murderer mm-hmm. you know who are you like so so as so as no. Ber- so as the country lower tries to lower the the bar so does Bernie Sanders and and we're just we're not sure what's going on there and and we've dropped him you know as somebody we care you know that we uh, support for a while ago we go oh, yeah. back the day after the California primaries I registered as a green and, yeah me too and broke up with Bernie Sanders yeah you know and I think that's another thing too is people have a hard time in this country for some reason 
breaking up with people that are bad for them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you have Stockholm syndrome yeah. or well, something. I just, then, I don't get it. And the I've whole, never been able to understand that. Yeah, and the whole so. thing with, with personality politics as well. Uh, we fell for it with Bernie, uh, but you know, as the Who said, won't get fooled again. I don't often quote the Who. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not really my style, you know. Uh, so, any uh, other no, thoughts? No, so just just pay again, pay attention to policy, civic oversight. Pay attention to the fact that you know every single person in Congress is is somehow warped yeah you know, well it, i'll tell you what go go the it, new york times i don't i don't quote the new york times very often either but the new york times put out an article yesterday um about uh who voted for whom uh so who in congress who in the senate voted for the uh the the picks for um uh for the cabinet and uh it's oh, pretty I know surprising what I, yeah I know what yeah, I yeah. Wanted to say. yeah 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 okay so the people like me and jp who consider ourselves more humanists or more progressive we 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 tend to hold our value system against like this you know the same value system that other countries have towards their citizens and their population um and they actually have true democracies there are 43 percent of us that's right in the country 43 percent of us we are the majority rule not the Democratic Party, not, not the Republican, Republican Party. Party, just because they get all the press. Right. You know, just because they're bought out by corporate um, entities and they take corporate money from Wall Street and things like that. Mm -hmm. They have the money to go out there and make fancy, um, you know, propagandized uh, commercials and, and, you know, and CNN, the big, you know, network that's supposed to cover real news and all that. They, uh, they promote these individuals, but we, the actual progressives, the ones that are actually the critical thinkers in the world, the one that hold everybody's feet to the fire, including Bernie Sanders, you know, we actually make up the majority rule. We are 43% of us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when Bernie Sanders did not take Jill Stein's offer to, you know, run on the Green Party ticket, I'm sure he regrets that to this day. I don't. He's been ignoring that's them. That's true. He's, he's you know, more of Jill a said that Jill said that, that he ignored them for five years. No, that's true. A, so maybe he's 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 not regretting it. You know, I don't think that's so. That's probably yeah, true. Yeah. I mean, he can stay with the Democratic Party. They All can still he give wants. him a big salary, yeah. and you know, yeah. so yeah, or at least he can campaign for them while being yeah. in. Independent, well, you know, he didn't. So. He didn't. You know, he 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 didn't object to them cheating him and his, that's his voters true. that's actually the third during the thing. primary so the first thing was that yeah. he supports a, a cold-blooded psychopathic murderer okay mm -hmm. the second thing is that he is uh, debating Ted Cruz which is an embarrassment and it goes against what he spoke in the primaries which is for a single-payer system and so he's trying to advocate with this publicity stunt for the ACA really that's yeah. embarrassing you yeah. should be embarrassed Bernie and then the third thing he did was he never ever called out all of the actual you know the actual rigging of the primaries right. I mean we've got like We've got lawyers who have presented him with evidence after evidence after evidence, and even his own lawyer came to him and said, Bernie, you need to look into this, okay? There's a lot of, a lot of information here, a lot of facts here. Uh, there was a petition with 30,000 signatures on the petition for him to look, at least investigate what was happening in the primaries, and he never did. Yeah. He never, ever did. And, and um, that you know felt very weird to me yeah too. me too yeah so. and it was very frustrating watching it happen you know and you know the day that we were watching Bernie Sanders speak in San Francisco was the day before the California primary and the uh, day before the, day the before. California and primary the we were watching Bernie fucking Sanders media speak. starts I, we start seeing things on our phone coming through from all the media channels saying that uh, that Hillary Clinton already won California and we hadn't even voted yet. Exactly. So And he was speaking on the podium. Thousands of people were watching Bernie Sanders speak and all of a sudden everybody's faces turned to their phone like this and they were scratching their heads because scratching their heads and looking around and looking at each other and looking very puzzled because CNN had popped in on everyone's phone and it said Hillary Clinton wins the Democratic nominee. The day before yeah. the yeah. state of California, the largest state in the country, the, the most populated, populated state, state in the in country, California. the day before that they had even voted. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, 
total disconnect. Something is wrong. Something Bernie Sanders is should have gone after that with teeth. Yeah, and he didn't. He didn't even go after it with gums. Nope. Nothing. So, or so dentures. didn't even bring it up. Didn't even <laughs> talk about it. So, uh, you know, once again, citizen oversight. Yeah. Forty three percent make up, you know, the progressive ideology of Well, at least independence. You know, and independence. Yeah. 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 So all, all right. right, anything else? That's it. All right, I'm going to leave you with uh, William McKinley. And, um... Where's our dog? He's right here. Uh, he's on the other side of uh, McKinley's uh, statue here. Well, this is not McKinley, but well, we that is. So, uh, I bid you adieu.